Uh, if you have not watched this video, it may be the best video I've ever seen on the internet. You are missing out on pure gold. Don't miss this. Follow the link in the description. Uh, this guy's name is Greg Clark. Literally never heard of him before seeing this video, and you're about to see why. Anyway, this guy was in a debate, uh, if you could call it that. Uh, it was him and some other atheist guy versus Jeff Durbin from Apologia Radio and James White. Uh, you may be familiar with James White. I'm not even like the biggest James White fan in the world because I'm not Calvinist, that sort of stuff. But now I'm the biggest James White fan in the world because this video is just awesome. So this Greg Clark clown, uh, he manages to throw across the room in this debate the Book of Mormon, a Quran, and the Bible. Why he spared the Torah, I don't know, but just watch this. Do we know that these three people ever existed? Or could it be pen names? Mark Twain is a pen name. Dr. Oakley, whoops, my bad, I'm so sorry, I am partially blind, uh, is the pen name he uses to hide behind. Don't we all just hate that awkward moment when we're trying to be extremely rude and disrespectful to our interlocutors and by getting in their face, and then we drop the dang microphone. I just hate it when that happens. Keep this rolling, please. Mark, Luke, John, do you really think that there were names like that running around in the Middle East 2,000 years ago? No. No, we don't think that, nor has any Christian ever said that. Those are English translations. You'll remember from earlier this week we discussed uh, the manuscript evidence with respect to attribution to the authorship and the earliest manuscripts that we have. In fact, all every single manuscript that we have, complete manuscript that we have, attributes the Gospels to Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. That is their Greek equivalent names or their Aramaic equi equivalent names. Obviously not the English names. I, anyway, Fast forward this, let's get to the part where he starts literally throwing books. The Bible says it's true, so it must be true. The Bible is the word of God. God exists, therefore the Bible is infallible and inerrant. Well, let's take a look. The Book of Mormon says it's another testament of Jesus Christ. Must be true, right? What you all say is no. Wide right, no good. This guy's aim is about as good as the Cowboys kicker in the last two weeks. Please, don't stop this. Keep this train wreck rolling. The Koran! Not the Koran, bro. Don't do it. You know it's off limits. They're gonna drag you for this. Don't do it. Don't throw the Koran. It says, right here, right in the opening, first page, there's no doubt about this book. And you all Christians go, nope. Revelation, forget it. Self-affirmation, forget it. Rest in peace to the Quran. We had a good time, bro. A lot, of, a lot of good memories. So let's go to the Bible used by Jason Wallace's church, which he has personally assured me is infallible. He has personally assured me it is perfect. There are no mistakes in it. And we open his Bible, which he told me was no different from other Bibles that these guys use. And I turn to the Bible, and it says the most important claim or the most direct claim for this triune God, for our, there are three that best record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. What more proof could you have that the triune God exists except for the fact that... Wide right again. My man is 043 Get him out of here. This is insane. What's sad about this is obvious. The purpose of debate is to persuade your interlocutors and your audience. There are likely people in the audience who, for sure online at least, that have never given atheism much of a thought. So he has a golden opportunity here to persuade uh, some Christians or other people towards atheism, at least showing that atheism is a reasonable worldview and uh, something that they could subscribe to. So here they are listening for the first time to an atheist, and what do they get? Pure anger and mockery. No argumentation, no rationality, no coherence of thought, just pure anger. I'd say he's angry at God, but he's clearly just angry at James White. Why Jeff Durbin got a pass? I don't know. Jeff Durbin and the Torah are safe on this one. He's only angry at the Book of Mormon, uh, the Quran, the Bible, and James White. Ask yourself two questions. Is this clown's aim to persuade Christians? No. Is his aim to learn something or to arrive at the truth through dialogue? 
Of course not. He's here to do exactly what he did. He prance around and make a show. He's here for himself. He just wants you to look at him and listen to him. He really only accomplished two things here. One, he made a fool of himself. And two, he guaranteed that any curious young Christians in the audience would never give atheism a second thought ever again. So for that, Greg Clark, we thank you.